learn how to create good cover letters. So how many of you have struggled to create good cover letters? Do we have anyone here uh, who has struggled in the past to create good cover letters? Do you want to see how you can create it with the help of chat GPT? I know it's not a, it's not a rocket science though. I know mo most of you might know this also, but let's just look at it that what is the best way of doing it? Let me see if I have any resume with me. Okay, I have one resume here. I'm going to share my screen and uh, open the chat GPT. So let me know if you see it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, apply, I'm going to create a, a one cover letter with the help of this chat GPT. Uh, some of you have also asked me these questions and I'm so sorry I couldn't respond to you in the past. Okay, see, we need to understand one thing about cover letter. Okay, and this thing I have, kept explaining this thing to many of you in the past as well. Cover letter is not something that you can create uh, and, and you can keep it for every job you apply. That's the problem of cover letter. You know, cover letter is not, cover letter is not like the resume. How many of you agree, would agree with me that cover letter is not, cannot be used like resume. How many of you would agree with me? Okay, see, cover letter requires three information and that is why, that is why cover letter cannot be same. One, the first thing is cover letter has the, has your profile information about me, about Naman, you know, what Naman is. Naman is a cloud engineer, Naman is the software engineer or cybersecurity specialist. What is Naman? So the first important thing for cover letter is that what about that person? Second is about the job responsibilities. You know, you cannot uh, you cannot use cover letter of of cyber security into SOC analyst. You have to create a separate cover letter for SOC analyst. You have to create a separate cover letter for uh, for cyber security, right? Or for probably for cloud or for cloud security, right? So your job description matters a lot. And the third thing is the company detail. That is why you cannot use the same cover letter in every company because company details also comes, you know, some small information about that company also comes in that cover letter. That is why you cannot have one cover letter for every job. That is why we need a tool like chat GPT, which gives you cover letter on the go every time you apply for an opportunity. Okay. So always remember three things. Cover letter is dependent on three things. Number one, your uh, your resume. That's number one. Number two is roles and responsibilities of the company. And third, the company profile itself. Does that make sense? So can 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 anyone list me three things? What are the three important things for a cover letter? Can anyone tell me what are the three important things for a cover letter? So the first one. Okay, let me write it over here. First one is your resume detail. Your resume details okay second is roles and responsibilities and the third one is the company detail where, where you are basically applying for it okay if these are the three things what a cover letter addresses so now do you think that cover letter can be same for every every job you apply do you really think it is possible to keep a same cover letter when you apply for a role? No, right? I think that is that is made clear. Okay, and don't do that because if you do that, recruiter will catch you and they will mark you rejected there there itself. They will not even contact you. Don't do that. You will lose the opportunity. You will waste your time. Okay. So now we have to use Chat GPT to do it because if we do it, you know it is it is good. I mean, you can save time. You can do it yourself, but it will take like 30 minutes just to create one cover letter, right? Why do, why do you want to do it? So we are going to basically pick up, uh, I have opened on my other thing. I have opened uh, my, like my headline from the resume. Okay, so I'll just type, I want to create a cover letter for a cloud engineer profile. Um, profile and it is it's the role with Google 
I am listing down uh, my job, my experience, my, uh, you know, the some roles and responsibilities. And company details. So this thing, this line has to be same for all your thing. Okay. Uh, like you can just change this Google name. You have to keep this line on the top. I want to create a cover letter for a cloud engineer role profile. It's the role with Google. I'm listing down. If you, if you don't want to even keep this, you can remove this. Okay. You can just remove this. You can keep it. I want to create a cover letter for a cloud engineer profile. I'm listing down my uh, experience, some roles and responsibility and company details. Okay. So now over here, first I'm going to list down the experience. So I have copied pasted my uh, resume headline over here. See, I have copied pasted my resume headline uh, that is like under the name. Now I'm going to put like some roles and responsibilities. So I'm going to put like roles and responsibilities. Okay. So I can just put, like pick up few job profiles, like whatever few role responsibilities or tools you can pick up, pick it from here. Okay. And put it here. Okay. And now I can say that, uh, like the last one is company details. So company is Google and it's a, a cloud DevOps role. Let's say I, I can write anything right over here. So now if you look at it, this line, you, you, you are just, if you look at the total message over here, you're just pasting these lines. This, this line is going to be same every time. Okay. This section is going to be picked up from, from your resume. This section is going to be picked up from roles and responsibility of the job and company detail is just like you have to name the Google, the company, what you're applying for. Okay. And when you say, when you send it to chat GPT, it will basically create a, you know, it should create, okay. It's just coming up. Yeah. So now if you see that it is writing the entire, uh, you know, cover letter for you. Right. If you see that, okay, this cover letter is exceeding the number of, uh, you know, letters, you can decrease the letter also. So you can see that I want, I, I'm writing to express my interest in this role, that role. And if you read this, right, it will be exactly in line with, you know, uh, with your, uh, roles and responsibilities. And plus it will combine and merge your own experience as well. You know, and this thing you're picking up directly from your resume, the resume, what think loudly creates, right? It always has that he profile headlines. So we are picking up directly from there. So now how, how many, how many minutes it took me because I'm explaining it right now. It took me five minutes of time, but if you do it every day, your cover letter is ready. Now you just copy this and paste it in any word file and, and send it to your recruiter or upload it to the job posting. Are you getting my point? But if you read it right, it has your skills. It has what company expects you. And it is also talking about, if you look at, at Google to deliver innovative solutions, you know, cloud infrastructure. So it has also taken the company details in the account. Does that make sense? Everyone, is it helpful for anyone who is here, uh, in the audience? Do you think, are you going to use this, this way of creating cover letters in the, in the future? Do you think that are you, are you really going to use it? I just need yes or no. <laughs> if no, it's okay. You can say no as well. You know, this is something, see, there are plenty of tools available in the market right now, but they're expensive. They're really expensive. Why do we need to even spend that for, for few cover letters? They're asking $10, $20. Why do you want to spend that money? Come here, create your own. And now let's say if I want to decrease the uh, count, let's say, I, I'll say decrease the the word count to uh, probably let's say 250 words. Let's say if I want to decrease the count, let chat GPT do it for you. You know, they will just decrease the count to, you can see like, they will just have a, like a small, uh, it will not be that big. Like, see this time it is a smaller, uh, you know, it's, it's a smaller cover letter, isn't it? 
So it totally depends if you want a bigger one like this. See how detailed it is, and uh, or if you want it in less less con uh, less words, then you can just tell that tell that thing to Chat GPT, and it will create and give it back to you. Isn't it, guys? So this is what you can you can use the same resume for multiple jobs, but you cannot use the same cover letter for multiple jobs. And I hope I hope you have learned something uh, which is helpful. Thank you for watching. Switch from non-IT to IT today. Explore www.thinkcloudly.com.